Thank you very much. Yes, tonight I am going to be speaking about the obvious tattoos. Yes, see, tattoos are just like nipples. We all have them, but we all try to keep them covered. Now notice, guys, I said try because I am including all the exhibitions out there. Uh, thank you. I knew I was not the only one. What are you doing today? Excellent. Maybe we'll hook up. All right, you know what? Tattoos being like nipples, but actually on the west, you get a tattoo on your nipple, then there's absolutely no reason why you need to keep those things covered. But one tattoo I want to speak about tonight is this little motherfucker right here. Okay? After I wrote my book, Wings of Flesh, Expel Your Demons, Enjoy the Flight, and I know 200 books that I sold because he's a freaking constant reminder that I only sold 200 books. None of you are probably sitting in this audience right now. And how do I know that? Because the only reason I can come up with is you all seem to love your demons. <laughs> yes, let's take the alcohol in the back. I love the guy in the back, hiding back there with his girl. You can't give it up my poems like you bitch. Now, in everybody's life, there is that moment of clarity. Okay? For the drunk, it is waking up next to his transvestite in the morning and being like, oh my god, you're a man! And I'm not even gay! Please don't tell anybody! Let's take the porn out, okay? It's the middle of the night, you are going to town doing the whole thing! The energy is rising, you're looking at the vintage porn, you are about to smear all over the computer screen, and you hear, what the hell are you doing at 3 a.m. in the morning? Bam! All over. You're not. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. I, I can explain. Explain? Explain? Your ass will be on the couch for three days and a random ass shit off the computer because I swear to God, if my daughter finds out the crap you've been listening at, I'm going to have your nuts in a blender. Well, that's my So, let's get back to uh, Zyra. That is his name, Zyra. Okay? We all got it. He's a cross between, I would say, uh, Marilyn Manson and myself, if we had a kid. Now, this guy has literally been to the highest realms of heaven and the deepest, darkest pit of hell. Okay, now, you know, it does seem a little manic now that I'm talking about it out loud, but tattoos are therapeutic. You know, and you might be asking yourself, what the hell is so therapeutic about a needle constantly being stabbed into your flesh. Well, what I have learned from my therapy sessions is this. When I was a child, okay, I remember, I had a dream. And in that dream, that's right, you got it, I was naked. I was a naked little boy walking to school, thinking everything's fine, but why is everybody looking at me? This is strange. Do they not see the swarm of bees coming down from the sky? Because the only thing I can think that a tattoo feels like is being stung by thousands of bees. Now in this dream, whereas I'm walking naked, yes, um, the bees come and constantly attack me. And I'm like, so feeling this attack. And I'm like, oh my god. And I start to swell up on the poison. And it starts getting larger and larger to the point that there's so much poison in my body. I start to float. Then I'm thinking, hmm, as I'm floating, let me move my arms around. Let me see if I can fly. Next thing you know, I'm flying. And yes, that was the first time I actually flew in my dreams. Now, Zyra shares these characteristics with me. But the thing I hate about this little motherfucker, as I said before, he steals my flight at night! And I can't stand it! He is taking flight for the last three nights of my dreams! So I say, fuck you! Zyra! Tonight, I am flying. So, if any of you see me in your dreams, please, I'm begging you, show me your nipples. Thank you. Edward Nyhae, that is N-Y-A-H-A-Y.